I've already created my sheets and my different sheets have a title block and they have these different properties right here that have been annotated according to the work set properties. The work set properties can be found by going to file properties. And right here you can see that my work set name is project ABC. And then I have these custom properties that I created for the county name and the state. And they populate right here in these. Right now I have four sheets. So if you go in and you edit one of these properties and then you want it to populate back in here, technically you would have to go in and open each model, each sheet model within the DGN for it to update. So let me show that. So I'm going to go to File, Close. And I'm going to change the state to Georgia. I'll hit OK. And I'm going to open that DGN back up. OK, the DGN is open. I'm going to go to my models and open the very first sheet. So I'll double click to load it. And you can see down below that it updated it to Georgia. So to test to see if it has updated in the other sheets, I'm going to go to models. I'm going to create just a new blank sheet model. I'll hit OK. And then I'm going to attach one of the other sheets before I open it just to see if it had updated. So I'm going to do that second sheet right there. So I'll hit OK. And you can see that it still says Alabama. So as soon as I go in and I open that model, it'll change it to Georgia. So how do we, how do, we do this in a more efficient, faster method rather than having to go through and open every single model? The way you do it is with a key in. So we're going to this key in right here. It's called field update all file. So this is going to update all of the all text files in the entire file. So if you selected model, it would only do it in the model that you have currently open. So we want to do file so it does every single model within the file. So now that I have all that entered, I'm just going to hit the enter button and it's going to process and it did it rather quickly. You can see down here below three fields are updated and look, it's already switched over to Georgia. So to double check that, let's just look at another sheet just in case. I'm going to switch it to this last sheet right here. You can see that it says Georgia as well. Now, if you, for example, exported all of your sheets to a separate DGN, so you have multiple DGNs that only contain that one specific sheet, and you need to update all of the DGNs at once, you don't want to have to go through and update every single one. So basically, you want to do the same thing, but instead of having, you know, 20 different models, you're going to have 20 different DGNs. To do that, we will go to File, Tools, Batch Process. Then here, we're going to create a new command file. Give it a name. I'll just call it Test1. I've already created one. We're going to enter that exact same command line. So Field, Update, All, File. That's all you need. Close and save it. And then right here is where you're going to add the DGNs that you want to update. So for me, you could select as many as you want. I'll select this one. You only need to do the default model. You only need to update the default model. So once you have all your DGNs added, you can select them all and click apply to selection and it will only do the default model because the field, you know, it's update all file. So you really only need to op open one model and it'll update all the entire file. That'll really help with processing times. 
So once you've added all of your DGNs, maybe I can add some more. Select some more. You'll click to process it. You'll click process and it's going through and it'll open every DGN within the process and update it.